Is overclocking gaming GPUs useless? That's what I said. And a lot of people got very upset with me. All of them hardcore overclockers. Telling me I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know computers. Which is fine. But that puts the assumption that overclocking GPUs is hard. It's not hard. Don't let anyone tell you it's hard. It's the easiest thing. It's literally just push slider up. Did it crash? Yes. Push slider down. Did it crash? No. Leave slider where it is. It's the easiest thing. It's the, of course, there is a little bit more that goes into it. And you can see that if you look at guides. But this is the basics. It's the dumbest thing. A monkey could do this shit. But since we're talking about, is overclocking GPUs useless? Well, to me, it is. Because whenever I do overclock and I get something decently stable, I get 3 to 6% performance in the different AAA games that I test. Going from 100 FPS to 106 FPS, it's not something I can notice. If you do, that's good for you. You. So here's what you do. You just try it. You try to overclock. You try to undervolt. If you get any noticeable, meaningful performance, then that's good for you. To me, it's useless. And there's also the games that just crash regardless of what you do. Like for me, Rainbow Six, I can give it 50 megahertz on the core. It will just crash anyway. Or I'm supposed to give it less than 50? Be serious. But to see if you're getting meaningful performance, you have to try it in games. You do 3D Mark for testing, but you try it also in games because it's easy to get more performance in 3D Mark. 3D Mark will take anything that you do. I could spit on my GPU and 3 Mark will somehow use that to give me more performance. The only reason I overclock is because it's fun and that's okay. I don't need to gaslight myself with weird miracle performance numbers when I just like big clock numbers. It's okay that it's just fun.